What's up, Taurus? This is Joy. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome to the channel. Any new people? Much aloha to you guys. Much aloha to you guys. All that good stuff. Um, today, we're going to be doing the um, the Taurus reading for April. All right. Uh, keep in mind that this is also a timeless reading. So if you watch this after April, it's all good. Just go with your spirit. Go with your intuition. Follow that, okay? Uh, this is a general reading, so it may not apply to every single person that watches it. If it does not apply to you or if it doesn't you know, resonate, you could choose another sign in your other houses to see if there's an important message left there for you as well. You feel me? So uh, let's go ahead and get right on into it. I'm going to clear the energy out as well. All right, you guys. I got to start with some tarot. And what I have here is the Wheel of Fortune. I got the Wheel of Fortune. I got the Seven of Wands. And I got the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, and I got Justice card, okay? On the bottom of the deck. Ooh, we got Death. We got Five of Cups. We're going to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, so definitely, you guys, Will of Fortune, definitely coming in strong with the energy of change, with the energy of I feel that it's a change. What I'm looking at right now, this is a change for the better, a change for the good, a change of fortune, change of circumstances. Whatever's popping off right now is getting ready to change, okay? And it's going to be for your highest good, okay? It's going to be something that you, a change that you want to, uh, you want to receive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not one of those funky changes. Not one of those like, oh, damn, here we go again kind of changes. This is one of those like, oh, thank you. Thank you, God kind of change, you know? I feel that you guys have been standing up for yourself, you know, standing in your power. You've been not giving up on some sort of dream you've been not giving up on some on something that you wanted okay and i feel that that is what's going to happen so with the two of cups here so if it is a relationship that you've been wanting to manifest for yourself it's coming through for you guys okay or if you're with somebody it's coming through to where you guys will be um strengthening your bonds okay if it is a job or if you're looking whatever it is you're trying to draw into you i feel that it's coming to you okay and it, it's coming to you by you not giving up on your dream, by you not giving up on what it is that you want to manifest, okay? This is something that you stuck in there with that you didn't let nobody uh, stop you from pursuing whatever it is that you were trying to pursue with this Two of Cups, okay? And I feel overall, this is bringing balance into your life. And it's also bringing endings to your life, okay? This is a transformation, okay? This is a transformation as well, because your situation is changing for the better, okay? It's changing for the better. Some of you guys I see here, you were disappointed. You, were, you may have been missing somebody. You may have been heartbroken over a loss that you had. You may have been, why am I about to say crying over my spirit team, man? Crying over spilt milk. I'm going to say it. That's what I got. That's what came to my head. Crying over spilt milk. You guys may have been not letting something go that you needed to let go. Something that died that you needed to let die. You know what I'm saying? It's like getting a bouquet of roses. And then how long does it take for them to start withering away? I don't know. Maybe two or three weeks later. I don't know. Uh, two or three weeks later, those mugs are changing colors. They're changing brown and black and whatever. And you're still holding on to them, you know? I see that. I see somebody with a bunch of dead roses still in the vase on the table. Like, you need to throw it out already. It's over with. It's done. Move on to something else because there's... The world keeps evolving. The world it keeps turning. If it really turns, I don't know. Y'all know flat earthers. I don't know what it does. I, I haven't seen it myself, but... The world keeps evolving. Night turns into day, day turns into night, seasons change, blase, blase, all that good stuff. So the world ain't, the world doesn't sleep, so you shouldn't be sleeping either. What happened in the past happened in the past, and it's like, it's time to let that go. It's time to, you guys are moving into an energy of transformation, of actually coming to the end of a cycle, okay? The end of a cycle, and moving on to something brand new for yourself. And that is with this new fresh energy with uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here, which is beautiful. It's beautiful for you guys, okay? And that's why I feel like for some of y'all, y'all looking for love. If you're looking for love, I see that love connection coming through for you, okay? That love that you want is coming through for you. I see if anybody did you wrong, I see that karma swinging in on their ass too, you know? Kicking them and giving, giving them a swift kick in the ass, you know? 
I felt things balanced enough for you. If anybody played you wrong, took anything from you, played you dirty or whatever, I see that balancing out and you being, you receiving something better, you know? A lot of times when we lose something, spirit can, the universe can replace it with something that's much better, that's more aligned, you know, with uh, our highest good, okay? Let's get some uh, fortune cards here to see what else we got for you guys. Taurus, let's see. You will have the opportunity to continue your education. So uh, some of you guys might be going back to school or some of you guys might be going to the school of hard knocks. You might be learning a life lesson, you know, not in a bad way, but you might have you might have after the fact, you might have learned a lesson. Uh, this may be a uh, work uh, education opportunity for some of you guys. Good friends will bring you lots of luck. So good friends around you guys at this time. OK, that could bring you lots of luck in your life. Bring you lots of joy, help you smile, help you get over, you know, BS from the past and help you move forward and appreciate the things that you have to look forward to or that you have in your life that you should be thankful for. I'm hearing that you need to be in a state of gratitude. Oh, damn. OK, yes. For some of you guys, this is about to pop off very soon. It says a change is imminent. A change is imminent. OK, a change or move in some area of your life. Travel is here for you. Get ready. Y'all might be traveling also. You know, or you may be moving from this mental condition to another mental mental condition that is better moving, moving from one state of mind to another one that is better, you know, and, and you can apply that to any area of your life as well. OK, whatever you wish for will come true sooner than you think. I don't know what y'all wish for. Whatever you wish for, it says it's going to come true sooner than you think. OK, let's go ahead and pull some of these uh, tea leaf cards right quick let's see what we get for you guys bouquet compliments from an admirer you got y'all got a secret admirer a secret admirer i don't think that admirer is going to be secret uh for long because you got this two of cups here so that mofo might not be secret for long they may come out and jump out the bushes with a bouquet of fresh roses for you now you know you could throw them dead roses away and you get a fresh bouquet you feel me yeah, compliments from uh, uh, an admirer. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Yo, a change is coming, Caterpillar. Things is things are about to pop off for you guys. Things are about to switch up for you guys. This is pay attention to your finances, okay? Don't go uh, don't go crazy on on spending money and for whatever that means to you guys, okay? Boundaries. Yeah, it's telling you you guys need to set healthy boundaries for yourself, okay? With past people, with new people, just make sure that you have without like closing people out, you know, like especially the new people, this new person that's coming in. But make sure that you set healthy boundaries for yourself. Make sure that you're learning. And that could be the lesson that you learn, too, from like you may have learned a lesson from this past experience that you were in. Make sure that you learn from that experience and then you learn what mistakes not to make this second go around or a third go, whatever number you're on. But make sure that you don't make the same mistakes. Uh, this time when you go around, okay? Beauty. I feel that this person is going to find you very, very beauty and beautiful and attractive, okay? I feel that you guys are... I don't know. You guys may have this glow about you right now during this time. Something about you is appealing to somebody, to other people, okay? This might even be somebody on your job, okay? There may be career advancements for you guys coming up. There may be a job uh, interview coming up for you guys. So where you get the job, you know, new employment, if you're looking for for work, uh, employment advancement or just something may take place. You might meet this person in your, in your job. OK. Sky's the limit. I don't like to put limitations on nothing. You know, sky's the limit. Let's pull some cards from the Paradigm Shift Oracle. What advice do we have for Taurus, please? What advice do we have for Taurus? Your powers are being increased. Acceleration. So 
Yeah, you guys, your spiritual powers are being increased. I feel that your emotional and your your uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do we call it? Your um, your emotional health is healing. That's getting better for you as well. Your mental health is is increasing, getting getting better for you as well. But I feel overall, you're gonna be be in a place of where you're feeling strong. You're feeling like you. You feel stronger than you felt before, okay? Especially when you went through that Five of Cups moment. You're coming back into balance. And I feel that uh, these are downloads that are coming up for you guys as well, okay? So I'm hearing like, you know, just temper yourself. Don't be afraid of these, uh, your psychic abilities improving or uh, getting better, intensifying even. Just take it one day at a time. If you got any questions, ask somebody who might be able to help you, who might be, um, what do you call it, well-versed in that area, you know? Let's see what else we got. What else do we have here? What else do we have here? By storm. It says, express your talents and gifts. Yeah, you guys are stepping into your power, okay? It says, express your talents and your gifts. The first card we got out says your powers are being increased. Now it says express your powers and gifts. If this will zoom in, the fuck? I hate when it does that. There you go. But yeah, express your powers and your gifts, okay? It's time for you guys to shine. It's time for you guys to, to make yourself seem. You know, I'm not saying go out there and act a fool. But I'm just saying, like, don't hide your don't hide yourself, you know? Don't hide your gifts. Don't hide your... If you guys are spiritual, don't hide it, you know? It's time for you to show the world what you got, you know what I'm saying? Show them your your magic, your power, whatever you whatever you do, you know? In a natural kind of way, of course. We don't want to go out and say, ooh, look at this. Ooh, you know, not that. You know, just be yourself is what I'm getting, okay? Take the world by storm. Let them see who Taurus is, finally, you know? Let them get to know Taurus a little better. Let Taurus express themselves how Taurus has always wanted to express themselves, but they may not have, you know? Let the cat out of the bag, you know? Allow yourself to be a bit more vulnerable, um, especially with yourself, you know? Accept yourself for who you are, uh, your gifts. And I don't care if people think, oh, this person is weird because they da 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 Who gives a fuck about any of that, you know? Just be yourself and let yourself shine. Let yourself shine. On the bottom of the deck, we got compassion. It says, let unconditional love rule. Okay? Let unconditional love rule. So this is you expressing and showing love for yourself as well as your brothers and your sisters, your fellow humans and whatnot, you know? People that are around you. Letting go of resentment and anger from the past. Letting go of mistakes that you made in your life. Not being so hard on yourself. Treating yourself with kindness and love as well. Stepping back into that type of energy as well for yourself, okay? Let's get some uh, spirit team messages. There's only one way, there's, well, there's only one way, what the hell? There's more than one way to reach your destination. There's more than one way to reach your destination. And then you got real recognizes real, baby. Real recognizes real, okay? So, when you see somebody who's real, they're going to recognize you, period. So I feel whoever is coming in your life, whether it is friends. For some of y'all, could be friends also that, is, that are coming into your life. Friends and romantic situations that are coming into your life. It says real recognize where you'll finally be able to, to, to uh, link with people who are on the same page and frequency as you, you know? To where it's not like night and day. Not like one person is speaking French and the other person is speaking Spanish, you know? Like you both are speaking the same language. You both get each other. You understand. Or you have that mental capacity to understand each other. Or to get to understand that person, you know? But that's what I got for you guys, Taurus. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and whatnot. Uh, much love and light to you guys. Hope everything works out for you guys as well. Uh, thank you guys so much and take care. Okay? Ciao.